Welcome to day 7 of my A4R advent calendar. In this series of videos I show you how to program A4R APIC Mac controllers in 24 days. So let's see what's in paper bag number 7. Oh, it's a small 7 segment display. So this display can be used to display um, numbers from 0 to F in hexadecimal or 0 to 9 decimal and basically it contains of seven LEDs. Each segment here is an LED and the goal for today's video is I want to write a program on the A4 microcontroller which will display a value on the seven second display and each time I press this button here the value will increase. So let's take a look at the Wikipedia article of the seven second display. Here I have the German one but never mind. So basically as I already told you the seven second display consists of seven LEDs. And the cathodes of these seven LEDs are shorted together, so they are just taking a single pin. And when I apply, um, when I apply a five um, volt level on one LED and connect it to the common cathode or a resistor to ground, the segment will light. And this way I can display numbers. And down here I can find a logic table. So this table shows me which LEDs has to be turned on to display a specific value. So for example, if I turn on or if I want to display value zero, I have to turn on all these segments here and I have to turn off segment G here. If I want to display a one here, I have to turn on segment B and C and switch all others off. So how do I plan to connect the 7 second display to my Atmega microcontroller. Well, here you can see the wiring diagram. So we have a button here connected to port the pin 7 again, and then I have connected all the segments to port B. So segment A is connected to port B pin 0, segment B is connected to port B pin 1, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now let's think a little bit about how we can write the program to display a value on the 7 segment display. So one option would be to use a switch case statement and say switch the value which should be displayed, case 0, turn on this LEDs, turn off this LED, case 1, turn off this and these LED, um, segments, turn on these two segments and so on and so forth. This would work. but it would be quite a lot of code and quite a lot of branches needed for um, getting this. So there is a second way which I find a little bit better, easier. So let's take a look at it. Therefore I will firing a Python. So let's think for a second what um, value we will write into the port B output data register when we want to display a 1. Okay, so segment A is connected to port B, pin 0. Segment B is connected to port B, um, pin 1, and so on and so forth. So for displaying a 1, I would need a 1 shifted by 1 plus a 1 shifted by 2 for the segment C here. And this gives me the value of 6. And if I do the same thing for another number, let's say um, 4, for example, then I would ha have to turn on segment 2 plus segment or segment 1 or segment B, segment C, then segment, okay, uh, 3, 4, 5, and segment. Um, G. And this will give me a value of 102. So this way we can calculate um, the displayed value for each um, digit and then we are going to store the result in an array. So for on position 0 of the array we'll find the output data register value for displaying a 0. At position 1 we'll find the output data register value for displaying a 1 and so on and so forth. And for getting these values I will use a spreadsheet program. So I will use LibreOffice Calc. 
for calculating this and I will just copy the table and paste it in here. This will take a second. Okay, and now I can calculate the values. So I have to take this, the state of segment 1 plus um, the one of um, segment B and two times plus the value of segment C four times plus the value of segment D eight times plus segment E sixteen times plus um, F thirty two times plus G sixty four times. Okay, and now I'll just do this for all the other positions, and we can see here, for example, for displaying a four. Yeah, we are getting this 102 value here, which we have calculated in Python before. So I will just grab this and put this into an array. But before I'm, I'm going to start writing the program, I have to do some wiring. So I will pause the video for a second to wire this here up on my breadboard. So I'm back in a second. Okay, I finished the um, wiring. So now let's write the program. Therefore, I will cd into my A4 advanced calendars folder. I have already created a folder for 7 seconds display. Let's go into it, but this is still empty. So let me grab the code from the button and pass it just in here. I think I have to run make clean here, yeah. And now I have a main, a main file with the source code for the microcontroller and a make file to build it. So first thing I will do is I will change the target's name. This will be segment. Okay, and now let's edit the main function. Okay, so the button will stay the same. And now we have to init um, the IOs for the display. And here we'll just set this to 7F. So this will set PB0 to PB6 to output. This for the input is still correct. And important thing to mention, I don't have a pull-up resistor here for the button, so I will use an internal pull-up resistor. So I will use this here. And let's make this a counter variable here. Okay. Oh, and I need the state variable too. Counter equals zero. And now if the button is pressed, but this time it means this value is zero because I have a pull-up resistor. So if the button is not pressed, I will read in a high level. And if the button is pressed, I will read in a low level. So if um, port data in register D and the button is equal to zero, then the button is not pressed. And in this case, I will increment my counter variable. Okay, and down here, we have to display the counter variable and therefore what I have to do is I will create a new array from the type uint t and I will call it hmm, segment values. It will contain, it will have 16 values and here is my array. And here I will just pass in the numbers here So now let's give me a second to finish this work. Or let's do it this way. Here a Win macro would be great to do this, <laughs> but I'm already done. Okay. Okay. And now down here, I will just do port B is equal to segment values counter and malix F. So here I'm just um, using the lower four bytes of the counter because I can only display the values from zero to 15 and all the other values I can display with only one segment of display. Okay, so now let's try to compile and run this program and segment values call 
not a function. Oh yeah, my fault. Um, I'm using the wrong braces here, so of course this has to be this brace is here for an array. Sorry for this. But now I should be able to build it. Yes. So let me try to flash it. Segments X. And yeah. So let's flash it. Okay, so I've just flashed the program and now let's test it. Currently a zero is displayed and now if I push the button with my screwdriver here, now it's a one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. Okay, great. So that's how to control a seven seconds display by using an Atmega 88PA marker controller. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something and I hope I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye.